What is up, guys? Welcome back to Banalish Diecast. My name is Evan, and today we're going to be opening up everything that I got from the swap meet. Let's check it out. So if any of you guys would like to check out my swap meet video, that would be my last video, so be sure to check that out. Now, first, I always want to point out everything on that back wall there. Yeah, that's not mine. It used to be mine, what was back there, but I got a brand new display case for myself to use, and it's behind me. So everything back there belongs to my brothers. Now, let's start with some loose cars. Check this one out. This is a 1966 Dodge Charger from M2, and this thing is blacked out. There is no color on it at all whatsoever besides the taillight. This is not really the kind of build that I'm into. I like bright colors, and I love chrome and all that, but honestly, this is pretty sharp, and I actually kind of dig it. Next, we got a couple of twins. We got these guys right here. These are the uh, Chrysler 300s from M2. First, we have this one here, which is very much similar to the last one, all blacked out. No, it does not have an opening hood. Uh, that charger doesn't have an opening hood either, by the way. Blacked out bumpers, details all over the front. M2 makes some really nice cars. And this is the buddy for it. It's like a mustard yellow metallic. Chrome bumpers in the rear and in the... Forgot about that. It doesn't actually have a bumper on the front. But, I mean, for a dollar, I mean, come on, that's pretty great. Here's a cheap little Maisto hot rod. This is a 1934. For no interior, very cheap and plasticky. The wheels are not great. It might be fun for some customs or something, who knows. Now, since Hot Wheels lost their license to do Ferrari a long time ago, I try to grab the Ferraris. This is not mint, this one here. No, it's, it's scratched up a little bit, scuffed up windows and whatnot, but it's still in, you know, good enough shape that I'm going to add it to the collection. This one here is the... 360 Modena and it's tuned so it's got a chop top and it's got massive wheels and it just looks very cartoonish check out the exhaust tips on the back there which looks really really cool we have this massive plastic spoiler which is seems to be very breakable I'm surprised it's not broke off and uh yeah this one is pretty much mint here's a Ford Fiesta rally car this one is really cool it's wide bodied it's got a massive wing on the back and it very much reminds me of uh Ken Block's Ford Fiesta that he does the uh, Jim Connors with. It's almost identical to that. Now, this one is really nice. This is from Larry's Garage, which is a pretty cool set. This is the Passion Gasser, goofy odd name. It's based off a 1940 Ford. Now, this is something interesting I've never seen done before. We got rubber real rider tires in the back, but we got plastic ones in the front, which is interesting. Also, the interior and the engine is supposed to be chrome plated, but for some reason, all the chrome, and I mean all the chrome, came off. I mean, the chrome is still on the wheels, so why did it all come off this? I have absolutely no idea, but it's still a beautiful find. Here's one I grabbed for 25 cents. This is a Datsun, and these things look actually really cool in wide body. I don't normally like wide body, but this one is actually pretty nicely done in this beautiful blue color. Absolutely love that casting. We have a Charger here, Highway Patrol. This one is in blue. Red window, so we can get the red siren on there. It's called the Charger Drift. Now, the only thing on this whole car that really makes it a drift car is the spoiler, because you block out the spoiler, and now it's just your normal, everyday police car charger. I love the graphics and that massive bull bar on the front as well. This is an oldie right here. This is, uh... I don't remember what to call it. I don't know if it even has a name. It's a hard one to do research on, but this is a color shifter. And this was made in 19... 93. Now it does actually work. Let's go take this thing to some water and show you that it actually does change color. Ha ah, ha. We don't actually have that many loose ones today. We got this guy here. This is a beautiful car. It's not a car, I'm sorry. It's a Volkswagen Microbus in a Golf livery. This thing has got detailed mirrors. The bumpers and headlights are separate pieces. So is the rear bumper, as you can see. All detailed in with some nice rubber tires. This thing is absolutely incredible to look at. That's one of my favorite finds right there. 
We got this guy here. This is a Porsche Panamera from Hot Wheels in like a gunmetal gray. We got some chrome around the wheels, which is sort of coming off. But besides that, this thing is pretty well mint, and I really like it. Check out this Jaguar, you guys. This is the really, really cool Jag. This one is really nice in black with the gold rims, some gold decals, yellow interior, yellow windows. The roof seems to be crushed a little bit, which is fine. The rest of it is mint, but when you put it in the collection, you'll never ever notice. So I don't care. We got this guy, which is a beauty. This is from Greenlight as well. This is a little Fiat. It doesn't have a name on the bottom. It just says it's from Greenlight. But it is a uh, Fiat, and it's thrown up as like a dragster. Like a little teeny tiny dragster. This thing is fully detailed with rubber tires. And super nice chrome headers as well. Marvel Mystery Oil on the side. On the front, you can see that this thing is called the Marvelizer. And to give you an idea of how small this thing is, let's compare it to a Porsche Panamera. Check that out, man. That is a tiny car. And last loose Hot Wheel of the day, we got this guy. This is a uh, Nissan 180, kind of like a drift car. Um, it's totally smashed up. I'm going to put this in my junkyard. But you, you can see the front axle is bent so that the front, t front wheel is, like, posing. So it looks really, really cool. You got the sleepy eye headlights on there. It looks perfect for a junkyard drift car. Now, I'm wondering how this thing got all beat up, because obviously someone was torturing it. Like, it doesn't naturally get beat up like this, with all the little smashes in the base and stuff. I'm wondering if they were, if someone was playing with heat or something, because if you look at the rear window here, it's totally caved in and trashed and smashed, yet there's not a single crack in it. So I was wondering if maybe someone was beating it up with, like, a really, really hot, like, a punch or something. I'm not sure, but I don't know. It's a cool one for the junkyard, and that's why I grabbed it. Let's get to some carded cars, shall we? So this is stuff that I have yet to open. So this is a first for me. We got the 52 Chevy from Workshop. This is my dream truck right here, the uh, Chevy 3100. This thing is absolutely fantastic. I wish it had chrome grill and stuff. I love it when they have chrome grills on these things, but this one doesn't. It doesn't bother me that much, though, because it's really clean. Bright, pretty red with the black and yellow decals, like pinstriping and stuff on it. My camera's not focusing. There we go. Man, is that thing nice. We got the silver door handles and gas cap. And we got corner windows on that thing as well. Now, this one here is my dream car. Or at least one of them, because I have so many dream cars. I mean, the Chevy, the Volkswagen, the Camaro here. Uh, this one here, though... I absolutely love the 69 Camaro. This is a beauty, and it's in red, which is just the way I want mine to be. In some white stripes here as well. Camaro logo on the side there. You got detailed blinkers and everything on it. Oh my goodness, man. That thing is cool. Gonna lay that right there. Next, we have the uh, 1984 Toyota Mr. 2. Check it out from Matchbox. Ah oh, man. I was going to say I hate it when this happens, but it happens so much. Look at this, man. Oh, they even got a protector in there as well. Like a little piece of plastic, man. Okay, so there it is. This is really cool because there are four different secret versions of it. First of all, this one has the headlights popped up. There's also a version out there with the headlights flipped down. So yeah, both of those versions come as a right-hand drive and a left-hand drive. So when we look at this one and we wonder what version we got, we got the version with the popped-up headlights, and it's also the left-hand drive version. So it's really cool that they made four variations of this thing, which is super unique for Matchbox to do. Next, we got another 66 Charger, or this is a 67 Charger, but it's the same as the uh, M2 one over there. This is a blue card. Uh, what year is this, man? 2000. I'm still going to open it because I don't really care that much. Let's get it out of here. Still only paid a buck for it, which is cheaper than anything they make now. And check it out. It's got the red Hot Wheels and the Dodge logo on the back there. We got taillights on it, and we also got red interior, which I think is insanely nice. This one's got the uh, PR5 wheels, I think is what they're called. 
and a nice chrome base. This is exactly the kind of car that I want to have in my collection. These classic muscle cars. I love it. Here we've got an 82 Cadillac Seville from the 80s set, as you can see. This one is very, very new. Um, it's surprising that I bought it at the swap meet because today I actually found it at Rossi. And of course, I didn't buy it because I already had it from the swap meet. In gold here with the brown two-tone wire spoke wheels. Tons of chrome on the front there. And I also love the taillights because they are done red, but they're also done plastic. So they are the same piece as our red interior. So let's hope that any future releases of this car, they'll give us a red interior. Because if the interior is like brown or something, we're also going to have brown taillights. Here's another one. Honda Civic Custom from J Imports. It's a very goofy looking car because the front wheels are so much bigger than the back ones. But this is actually something to do in real life. Front wheel drive dragsters. That's what this is. Not sure how I feel about the yellow rims, but somehow it looks really, really good. And it's also the nicest version of this car yet, because there's a red one, and I just don't like it because of that white bumper. Here's an 87 Dodge D100. This has been talked about a lot on my channel. It's appeared in many videos. Absolutely love this thing. Uh, my dad actually has a few of these mid-80s Dodges in real life. So naturally, I'm a huge fan. This has got the race team livery on it in orange. It's like a Rod Hall style trophy truck, so it's all wide-bodied. You got a hood scoop on there. This thing has got a roll bar and a spare tire and a light bar and everything. This thing is this thing is just really, really cool, and I love collecting that one. Here's a 67 Chevy C10 from Hot Trucks, as you can see here. This one is absolutely amazing. I absolutely love the antique pickups. This Chevy is a beauty. Check it out in this metallic purple paint job. Who's your racing tire on the back there? We also got like this hot rotted stance, bigger wheels in the back, cowl hood. She's tubbed as you can see. This thing is a full blown drag truck and I love it. Definitely one you'd want to take to the track someday. This thing is awesome. We're getting to the end. We got this one, 2001st editions. Lotus Elise 340R. This one was made in 1999, but I don't really care. We're still going to open it. Now, uh, Lotus Elise 340R. That is something I've never heard of. See, when I first saw this, I thought it was just some fantasy casting that I would never ever care for. Then I picked it up and looked at the name and I saw, oh, wait, this is a licensed car? Hold on a second. And suddenly, I actually really liked it. So yeah, we all know the Lotus Elise sports car. Well, this is basically that, but it's open fendered. And it's interesting here, you can look through it and see, like right through the door. That's actually plastic right there. That's clear plastic. So that's like a glass window. There you go. You can see the reflection on it now. Here's a Honda Civic Si from Factory Fresh. I'm definitely not a uh, Honda Civic fanboy, but this one is just really nice. I mean, I've never found it before, and apparently this is a very sought-after car, because I remember when it came out. Check it out, man. Detailed headlights and emblem on the front, detailed taillights and everything on the back. I absolutely love the color, man. The color is fantastic. My camera will not focus. Gosh darn it. Now, it says it was from Factory Fresh, but it's clear that this thing has got a little bit of a subtle body kit going, but it's still insanely nice for a Civic. Here we've got the Hot Bird Trans Am in gold with the black stripes and everything. This is a treasure hunt. It was really obvious to tell what a treasure hunt was back in the day. It just had it right across the card. No, I'm not going to open this one up, but it's really cool anyways. I'm also not going to open this one up. This is the Diora metal body metal base on this thing. Look at that. The surfboards are held down with an elastic band because they come off. Hot Wheels just doesn't do that anymore. Uh, what year is this? This is a 2003 and... Um, you know, I'm not going to open this one just because it's a short card and you don't find them very often at all. Not to mention that this package is mint. This was actually a concept car made by Dodge back in 1963. It was called the Dodge Diora. Here we've got a Volkswagen T2 pickup from Art Cars. I honestly don't know why it's from Art Cars because 
I mean, there's nothing really artistic about it. You can see that it's got all these rectangles all over it, but that's not really artistic, is it? Nonetheless, I love the Volkswagen buses, so this is a really cool one. It's a pickup, fully exposed engine in the back, and it is slammed. Guys, we can probably put this Fiat on the back there, right? Oh, that's perfect. That is perfection. Next, we've got this one. This is Flying Customs, and uh, no, it's not that old. It looks old, but it's actually made in 2021. This was as a tribute to the old Flying Customs. This is a Mercury Cougar Eliminator in black, and it's basically done to look like an old Hot Wheels car. You can see it's got the old black walls on it. I don't know if I'm going to open that one. That is that is undecided. And same goes for this one right here, this 69 Chevelle SS396, which also looks incredible. I would love to open them up. Like, I would love to. I'm undecided whether I'm going to do that or not. Here's this one, 84 Pontiac from Team Hot Wheels, high-speed wheel set. And uh, basically, this car is designed for speed. The axles are uh, nickel-plated, and the wheels are made of acetal, which is like a very strong, frictionless type of plastic. So yeah, these literally are built for speed. And no, I'm not going to open it now, but I'm definitely opening it up in another video. Can I just lay this? Like, yeah. Here we've got the quick delivery from Marvel Hot Wheels set. This is Spider-Woman. You can pretty much see on the back here that the theme of the set is like the female versions of uh, famous superheroes. So we got Spider-Woman down here, She-Hulk, uh, Batwoman. Um, I'm not sure who that is, and I'm also not sure who that is, because I don't do superheroes. But anyways, this one here is really cool and premium. Yes, it is opened up. Check it out. I can't say I'm a fan of them just taking a picture of a superhero or something of a character and just slapping it onto the side of a vehicle, but I really like the truck. It looks very old school, and the wheels with the red lines, it just looks immaculate. Check out all the lights on the back there and the uh, headlights and grill on the front. And if you look through the window, you can see that there's actually a V8 engine tucked behind the driver's seat, which is so cool. Next, we have this guy. This is a uh, COE transport truck celebrating the 50th anniversary of the Camaro. Uh, the truck here, this is, this is made by M2, by the way. So here's the truck in like a satin orange, which looks really cool with full details in the front. Red line tires and actual like dualies. This thing is insanely sweet. And the uh, trailer here is got all glass all over it so you can look through and see the car the car isn't with it i'm guessing somebody bought this as a set and they uh took the car for themselves but anyways you can open it up and you can look in the back there and stuff uh the original tape is still on and i'll take that off i gotta try and get me the camaro i think it's a 67 or a 68 camaro i can't remember but i gotta get it here we've got a little three pack which we're gonna just open up right away we got a 69 uh, Mercury Cyclone here. Come on. It's in like a cool, like a pinkish orange, almost like a salmon color. We got white stripes on that thing, which is really cool. We got chrome bumper and grill on the front, chrome bumpers on the back and everything. It's just a very nice, clean looking muscle car. We got this, which is called, what is this? Drift King. You know, it's, it's all right. I'm not even going to bother going into detail on that one. And here we've got a Ford Falcon race car. Now, Ford Falcon is an Australian car, so of course, it is right-hand drive, which you can see in there. This one's rocking the chrome 10 spokes. It's got a nice spoiler on the back, and I really like the color combination as well. Here's one I missed. It's like this little John Deere uh, tractor. Um, it's all plastic, and, you know, it's got like a working bucket on it and stuff. But I really like these nice squishy off-road tires, so I kind of wanted to steal these wheels and build like a lifted monster truck or something as a custom. I mean, I got this for 25 cents, so why not? And maybe I'll swap the wheels out for something else after because, look, the bucket can't even reach the ground because it's too high up. Here's a cool one, Comp Cams 1985 Camaro IROC Z from M2, which we will most certainly open. So I'm not going to unscrew it from the base or anything, but I'll at least, I'll at least show you guys the car up close. 
So here it is in its little display case, which is mega nice. Take that off, and here we go. So there's the car. You can take a closer look at it now. Look at it from all angles. This is one of the higher quality M2 cars, which would have come with, you know, a moving part. And I think it has a metal base as well, so it's really heavy. But yeah, check that out. Probably an LS or something in there. What do you guys think? Here you get a motorcycle from Maisto. This is a Harley Davidson. And it's pretty cool seeing the front and rear wheel being the same size. Like it's got big beefy wheels on there. Uh, I'm not really sure what type of Harley Davidson it is. I meant to do my research, but I forgot to do it before this video. But yeah, this thing is really cool. And you can see it's got a little kickstand to come out like this. So this one can actually stand up, which is absolutely awesome. Here we've got a couple of M2 ones. This is a 1974 Torino Cobra done up as like a dragster. This will be opened up someday, but not right now. You can see this is from the Auto Wheels set. And I used one of these sets to wheel swap some cars before. So it's cool to have this to wheel swap a few more. And we got another one down here with a Hemi Cuda in it in blue. This one is done up as more of a resto mod. So you can see we've got some resto mod like wheels up there to use as well, which is just awesome. So I'll definitely be saving those for some customs. Here we've got a neat little wooden car here, handmade, I do believe. Uh, it doesn't have a brand or anything on it, but it's pretty neat. This thing has been stained and painted and everything. And it's got a little copper wire up here for the windshield, which is pretty neat. I actually got this one for free, which is pretty cool. Here we've got a 124 scale car. This is a BMW Z1 in like a dark metallic kind of like a turquoise like a bluish green color it's like a really it's like a forest green or something really at first glance i thought this was a concept car but it's not this was a real production car you can see it's got a tip forward hood on it so you can see the engine in there which is pretty neat this was made by revel in case you guys were wondering 1989 that's actually a lot older than i thought so for 1989 this is actually in really good shape you can see it's got all kinds of detail on the back here all kinds of detail on the front. Now here's the amazing part. Check out how these doors open. So you'd think they'd just swing out like a normal car door. But no, you're wrong. You push it in like this. And you push it down. Like that. And it's not very smooth. But it's still an ingenious design. Now they are really hard to get back out sometimes. Sometimes they're nice to you. Sometimes you really gotta pull on them to get them out. But well, yeah, that one there works pretty nicely. Let's see if we can get the driver's door up as well. Okay, yeah, so they're being nice to me for the video, of course. There we go. Pretty sick, don't you guys think? Here's a, a Maisto Chevy SSR. I love the SSR. Absolutely love it because it's so unique and strange, and it's very old school at the same time. So if you open up the hood, we can see the engine, which is not realistic at all. The detail on that engine is okay, but... So it would appear that my microphone ran out of battery while I was recording. Sorry about this, but it looks like the rest of the video I'm gonna have to do a voiceover. Okay, voiceover starting now. So what I was saying about this engine is it looks nothing like the real truck. And quite frankly, I don't think it looks right at all, but... It's okay, we do have these cool little mirrors up on top, as you can see the past me pointing at. Doors open with actually quite the nice interior. Detail with some silver, I like it, I like it a lot. Here you can see me checking out the back of the truck with that nice chrome trim with the Chevy bow tie. We got the tonneau cover over it, and uh, okay, we're looking at the base now. Wider tires on the back than the front, okay, we're looking at this side now. Um, I guess overall it's a pretty sick looking truck. This next one is the 2003 Dodge Viper Maisto Special Edition. Um, I did do a video on me opening this up, but I lost the footage, so sorry about that. Um, <laughs> I didn't even check it out on my recording here very much because I, I was going to make a separate video. I just can't find it. Uh, this next one is the uh, 90, 1994 Dodge Viper Telephone, which is... Probably my favorite and the craziest find of this entire swap meet. 
This thing is insanely cool. It's mostly plastic, but it has insane detail on it. We'll check it out here in a sec as I unwrap the cord. There you go. Look at this thing, man. That is a 124 scale Dodge Viper with a nicely detailed interior all stickered up. We got some nice taillights and a Viper emblem on the back. Same deal on the front. Now, here's the cool part. When we flip it over, we got buttons. It is a literal landline telephone. And it works. I plugged it in and the headlights are flashing. And then you can pick it up and you can talk. Now, it was really, really staticky when I was listening to it. Like, it seemed a little bit jumbled up. But as something from the 1990s, I'm surprised it even works. It's incredible. So, no doubt, this is the craziest find of the entire swap meet. I absolutely love it. And there you have it, folks. That was my haul from the swap meet. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite find here was. Mine is probably... The Dodge Viper telephone. Seriously, this thing works. And I'm going to prove it in a future video. Absolutely love that thing. So uh, let me know in the comments below what you guys like. Be sure to like, subscribe, all this stuff. I'm not going to take an eternity telling you guys to do. And I'll see you.